couple months ago, I made a video about nautical ranks, a Minecraft resource pack which adds custom rank textures to your Minecraft server, so that the ranks in your server look something like this. That's pretty cool, I would say. The cool thing about nautical ranks is first of all, it is free, and second of all, it is compatible with Geyser MC, so all of your Bedrock players will also be able to see these ranks. Now, since that video, nautical ranks has released a version 2. It comes with some amazing upgrades, one of them being you're now easily able to add your own custom textures, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do exactly that. Now, I do want to ask you to scroll down and actually check if you're subscribed to my channel. Almost 90% of my daily viewers is not actually subscribed. 90%, that is insanely much. So if you could just double check if that subscribe button is actually pressed, that would help me out so incredibly much. Have you ever heard about Phoenix plugins? They've been a channel partner for a long time and they've made some incredible plugins like Phoenix Duels, Phoenix Crates and Phoenix Lobby. But unfortunately, they no longer exist. Because Phoenix Plugins has been completely rebranded to Phoenix Store. A brand new store, not just for plugins, but also incredible looking models and some very, very cool builds. So do make sure to check out the all new Phoenix Store through the link down below. And of course, make sure to use code Kasasora at checkout for a 15% of your order, which also helps me out along the way. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is, of course, download Nautical Ranks version 2. A link to this GitHub page can be found in the description of this video. Simply go there and download Nautical Ranks for Bedrock and Nautical Ranks for Java. So both of these files. Now the Java one, we will eventually turn into a server resource pack and the Bedrock one, we can add to Geyser MC so that the Bedrock players can also see the cool custom ranks. Now, massive shout out to Dev Enderman and Real Gamers YT for creating this and distributing it for free. That is awesome, GG guys. Now, after downloading them, you just want to drag them to your desktop or another location where you want to edit these files because we're going to open them up and I'm going to show you how to add your own custom rank textures to these resource packs. Now, what is important to note is that these rank textures you see in game, they are nothing more than just pictures. They are PNG files. So if we want to create our own custom rank, we have to create one of these pictures. Now, you can do that with any program you want. You can use Photoshop if you have access to it, but it is a paid program. The developers of Nautical Rank recommend using a website called Photopia. Now, the Nautical team has actually made a custom rank texture for me, so I'm going to be using that one today. But if you want to edit a rank texture, you can simply open it in Photopia. After that, you want to select the brush tool here on top. You want to change the size to one, so it's only a single pixel. After that, you can choose a color over here, then make sure to select your layer by just clicking on it and then you can draw look at that that is a beautiful rank texture <laughs> after you're done simply go to file export as png and then through here you can save your beautiful rank texture to your pc now after you got the rank texture that you want to add it is time to actually add it. So we're going to start out with the Bedrock resource pack. You know it is the Bedrock one because it says Bedrock in the title, but also it is a .mc pack file. Very important. Now the first thing we want to do is unzip this file. Now it is not a zip file, so we can't unzip it. So what you want to do is you want to change the file extension. So we're going to remove the .mc pack file and instead it's going to be .zip. And we're going to click. It will give a warning, of course. Do you really want to do this? Yes, Microsoft, we do. And there we go. Now it is a zip file. We're going to unzip it. So just right click, extract all. And after doing that, you will get a folder. So what you want to do is open up the folder. There will be another folder inside that has the same name open that one up too and then inside of there you will see three files and the one we want to be going to is font in there you should see two files now what you want to do is you want to get the glyph e8 file and open it up in photopia or photoshop or whatever program you used to create the rank and after opening it up it should look something like this now when we zoom in we can see all the ranks that are already included in nautical ranks so here we got admin and blue builder designer dev noob hey that's a good one for me actually so all of these ranks are already included in nautical ranks but we of course want to add our own so how do we do that well you simply want to drag the rank that we've already created inside of photopia too so simply drag 
drag it in there, grab it, and drag it all the way to the top so it is close to these other ranks over here. Now, we want to give it a precise location. And the best way to do that is by creating a little shape. So here on the left, all the way at the bottom, we got a shape tool. It should be called something like rectangle. We simply want to click on there, and then you want to create a shape that perfectly fits between these two ranks, admin and moderator. So I'm going to draw a shape there we go something like that now if i move it you can see it perfectly fits so there's not a single pixel between this shape and admin and down here there's also no pixel between mod and the shape then you simply want to grab the shape and move it to the bottom <laughs> just like that make sure there's no pixel between moderator and the shape once again and also align it here at the start and then we want to scroll down grab a rank and just place it like this. Look at that. Beautiful. Delete your shape again. And our new rank has been placed. So now we're going to save this file again. Simply go to save, export, PNG, click on save, and there we go. Now you want to go back to the font folder. So the place where we found the glyph file to begin with, and you want to replace the glyph e8 with the glyph e8 file we just downloaded from Photopia. So just drag it in there, replace the file. When we now open this one up, you will see that the extra rank is there. If that's also the case for you, good job. Now, of course, you can add more ranks. Just add them all next to each other in the same way that I just added this Casasura rank and you should be fine. Okay, so essentially we're now done with the Bedrock resource pack. We can zip everything up and then it should work in game. There's one more thing we need to do though, and that is figuring out which symbol we should use in game to make the rank actually appear. You simply want to open up the glyph e8 file inside of this website. Link can be found down below in the description. So simply open up your glyph e8 file and you should see this. Now, if you did everything correct, then the rank we just added should perfectly fit inside of one of these boxes. And what we need to do now is click on the rank we just added. So simply click. It was very short, but it says the symbol 0xe820 has been copied. So we've now copied the symbol. And when we paste this symbol with this resource pack enabled, we should see our own rank. So let's give it a shot first you want to remove the nautical ranks bedrock zip file because we don't need it anymore now you want to go inside of the folder that we just edited everything in and then right click compress to zip there we go this will be our new zip file so drag it to your desktop just like that and now we're gonna change the file extension once again back to an mc back file there we go yes microsoft i want to do that and perfect so let me show you that it actually works what you want to do is double click the mc pack file by doing that it will import to minecraft bedrock then you want to go to a minecraft world doesn't matter which one but do make sure to edit the world before you join it this is minecraft bedrock edition you're actually not able to change your resource pack in game i know it is uh I can't help it. And then we can just click on activate and there we go. Pack is activated. Now we can join the world. And after that, when you go to your Minecraft chat and paste in that symbol that we copied, you can see your own custom rank. That is amazing. But now that that's done, it is time for the Java pack. And don't worry, this one is going to be a lot easier. So first up, we want to unzip the Java pack. Simply right click, extract all. That will give us this beautiful folder. You should see three things inside. If you see the two, that means you're in the right location. So here you simply want to go to the assets folder. After that, the Minecraft folder then textures, and last but not least, ranks. And there you will see all of your ranks. Now you want to drag your rank texture inside of this folder. So the Casasura rank, there we go, it is added. And something you do want to do is copy the file name of your rank. So just make sure to copy it or remember it, whatever. That's going to be important later. Now we're going to back up a little bit. And instead of going into the textures folder, this time we're going to go to the font folder. Inside the fonts folder, there's only a single file default.json. In this file, we're going to edit. Now, there are many fancy programs out there to edit files like this. I would highly recommend Notepad++ myself, but because I know everybody just has regular Notepad on their PC, I'm going to be using that. What we're going to do is scroll all the way down to the bottom, and you want to copy the second to last bitmap. So that is this entire part. Then press enter, and paste it in just like that this is what it should look like then where it says file you want to change the file name 
to the file name of our own rank. So instead of the YouTube rank, it is gonna be the Casazora rank, just like that. Make sure to include the .png part, very important. Don't forget that. The only other thing we have to change is the charge part over here. So this symbol and the symbol you want to input here is the symbol that we got from this website earlier. The symbol that also made it so that we could see the rank in bedrock. So you simply want to copy that symbol again and then paste it in the charge line. Just like that. There we go. Now it will look kind of weird over here. I think this is a Chinese symbol. I might be wrong, <laughs> but I think it's a Chinese symbol. I'm pretty sure. Doesn't matter what it looks like though just save your file now we want to rezip the java pack by rezipping these three files so the assets folder pack.mcmeta and then a logo because why not just select them all right click compress to zip file now you can just rename it to whatever you want i'm gonna call it nautical v2 java because why not you simply want to add the resource pack make sure to select it and after that when sending that symbol in chat you can see there is our beautiful rank it is all working perfectly fine now the only thing left to do for you is making this java pack the server resource pack adding the bedrock pack to geyser mc and using the symbol we copied in lookperms or whatever permission slash rank plugin you're using so that it will actually appear if you want a more in detailed guide on how to exactly install nautical ranks i've made a video about it it is on the channel and i will leave it linked as a card on this video and that is gonna be everything for today i really hope you enjoyed watching don't forget to double check if you're actually subscribed to my channel so many of you do watch my videos but are not subscribed and it will mean so much if you could just smash that subscribe button it is so easy but you would help me out so much also a massive thank you to my channel members for the incredible support you guys are truly legends and then i will see you in the next one Bye-bye! <laughs>